even though the government averted a shutdown last minute. How do talks of government shutdowns impact a town like Gardner, whose business heavily relies on tourist traffic to and from Yellowstone National Park, which would have been shut down if the government decided to do the same. There's a lot of wildlife going on right here. Yellowstone is the place to be. With the fall colors hitting the scene and many animals out and about, people were still traveling to Yellowstone National Park Sunday. Business has still been busy around here. And Caroline Slichter, who owns multiple businesses in Gardner, was grateful for the tourist activity. We are still busy and the weather's been nice, so that has helped us. My wife had never seen it, so we came back to Yellowstone. Mitch Delasky and his wife traveled from Wisconsin, arriving in Montana earlier this weekend, but there was something looming in the back of their minds as they made their way to the national park. Would it be open? We had that conversation before Friday. They ultimately decided to keep their plans and hope for the best. Clay Willis said others did not decide to go that route. Well, the problem was that a lot of people were canceling their reservations because of the fact that it was getting right up to and everybody was hoping that it was going to happen but it happened at such a last second that many people have already decided well i can't go this year willis said that even though they received cancellations he estimated about 60 percent of people kept their bookings and even more started to call to reserve rooms today we're getting reservations for today and for this week because of the decision yesterday. For wildlife photographer Mike Early, he was going to come to the park from Wisconsin no matter the decision the government came to. There's lots of things to film in the park, but there's lots of stuff in Montana all over the place. And he wasn't going to pass up on being here this time of the season. Every year when fall starts coming, I can hear the mountains calling me and uh, I can't resist. <laughs> In Gardner, Haley Monaco, MTN News.